That's right. Well, from your local entertainment news to the mamas who are set to shake up Joburg tomorrow when Africa's biggest musical acts get together alongside the likes of hip-hop artists Future and our very own Trevor Noah. But the comedian is not our only greatest export of talent. DJ Black Coffee is currently making music history out in the world, but his roots will forever be in Mzanzi. Now, Tenji had a heart-to-heart -heart with Black Coffee in a first of three segments where the megastar discusses fame and media attention. Here in Mzansi, man, we have our fair share of trouble, but we never pass up the opportunity to celebrate and dance. And it's our homegrown musical acts who are both multi-talented and multiple award-winning that we have every reason to dance and dance again. But sometimes we want to find out about the soul and the story behind the music. So this morning we have an audience with our very own Mr. DJ Black Coffee himself. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You know, at this point, I can't even call you a local act. You are as international as they come. You are world-renowned. You work with some of the world's best musicians. At the beginning of all of this, how much of this attention had you really prepared for? And how much of being a celebrity still surprises you or frustrates and excites you to this day? I'm as local as they come. <laughs> I'd like it to remain that way because then it grounds me to a level where everything that I do outside, I want to do for the local market. I just feel like there's a lot more to do for the country. You know, so if anything, I, I want to do anything from outside, but do it for, mm. you know, just to better our scene. You have fans in Amsterdam all the way to Johannesburg, but that kind of life must really come with some sacrifices. What part of your personal life becomes strained when you're on the road and to what extent? First of all, I, I hate being a celebrity. I love music. It has been the hardest thing for me to live with both. I'm a music fan, you know. I, I was one of those kids who will not move, you know, when I'm in the presence of whether I performance or music before I got into music myself. And it's always been my dream to do what I do. It has never been my dream to be well known, which is quite stupid, you know, because comes with the territory. I think I want people to know the music because there's so much pressure that comes with people knowing you. They expect you to be perfect and to behave in a certain way and it's impossible. Has it ever for you gotten to the point that it's been so bad that it's even made you want to quit music? Yes, the media, you know. We don't have the kind of media, and I'm saying it out loud, that really supports. They will capitalize on your mistakes and why, what is expected of me now as a human being, you know, am I not allowed to be human, be upset, you know, and, and everyone else would say, no, it just comes with a job. I'm like, not really. Mm -mm. You know, yeah. I think my job is, is a very positive thing. And if the media then could take that and also use it, enhance that and to change the way people see themselves and, you know, to talk and teach more self-love, it would then make my job even more powerful. Despite staying out of the spotlight, a recent altercation at a music festival, which ended with Black Coffee slapping AKA's road manager, caused a frenzy of tabloid attention for the DJ. So the infamous slap incident got Twitter going wild. But I think it was very important that your fans and the people who really love you got to see you apologize publicly. But honestly, what part of this industry beef is real and necessary? It's very unnecessary. And I um, mean, I'll say this on TV, I don't have beef with anyone. Um, I'm a very driven professional. And um, what happened on that day, uh, my weakness was exposed. You know, it's something I regret. But once again, that's being human. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't mean because I'm human, then I must do such things. But at the end of the day, we have emotions. We, we get upset and we react in certain ways. And immediately after it happened, I wanted, I mean, when I was playing, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to finish playing so I could find this guy and say, dude, I'm sorry. But all in all, I mean, I, I terribly, I regret that moment. And um, like I apologized everywhere. And me apologizing publicly, 
uh, came after I wanted to apologize personally, and it didn't happen, you know, and I felt I, he needs to know, yeah. you know, that I'm, I'm terribly sorry. And that's also being human, yeah. you know, yeah. From all the drama to visions of hope, Black Coffee reflects on his background and building opportunities for SA's youth when our interview with a DJ continues.